Alright guys, trying a different setup here. So, just get... Mm. Give me a second. Mm. You guys, you under... You see anything different? Anything different? Hair's not done, but something's different. Not for real. Um, it's been a minute since I filmed some business stuff. So, you'll see a lot of stuff in my background right now. I am... Getting ready to go to Greece as well as just prepping and different things for my launch. So it's kind of a lot of stuff going on at once, but I told myself I wanted to film some videos before I hit to Greece. So if I edit on a plane or whatever, I'm dedicated to at least get some stuff out at the end of this year. So goal is some videos back to back to back. Um, these are going to be about business stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog for Greece. So just putting that out there, you might see little clips. After I come to Greece, but I am not sure if I'm fully committing to blogging the whole experience because I've been working a lot, a lot, 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 <laughs> um, and I just want to use that as a, you know, a relaxation. But as all, as well, I also want to be a genuine, give some, um, if clips or whatever, um, just because it's going to be my first time out of the country, so that's an experience in itself. And after I might recap or I might say what I did. You just put some different clips in there so it'll be something i'm just not sure if i'm gonna be like a whole shebang type shit it's type stuff um but very quickly i am going to start kind of like a series of hard truths so it's going to be three different applications just so you guys know what's coming up this is how i kind of set up in my brain and written down to make it make sense so it's going to be hard truths it's going to be hard truths about applications that i have used and personally have knowledge of so for one, I have some examples that I'm going to pull out while I say each application and then I'll get into one of them for this video and then after I do the sections of each one that I want to hit, then I'll go to the next application. hope that makes sense. So for one of them, I have heat transfer paper, which I'm not going to show you the back because I can actually print something on the back, which was kind of like whatever the printer's mistake. So this is basically a sheet that you print on put in there i'll give you examples and everything else in this series so i'm just going to briefly touch over them the next one is easy subly which is this sheet and application is kind of different from regular vinyl but it's like you can print sublimation ink on this paper if you choose to but i've been using it just as regular vinyl because it's way better than vinyl for me um and different brands as such so sorry um so there's different brands for everything. So I'll just let you know what brands I personally use and what I personally see it works kind of better. Um, and of course, regular. This is an example of regular vinyl, HTV uh, vinyl. Um, so that basically is what's an example of what's on my shirt right now. This is HTV. Um, and washing instructions. I will touch one for all applications as well. So it's different thing I want to touch on with all these applications. I'm going to also touch on screen printing, which I've already kind of touched on my page with. I just know that I didn't kind of, not kind of, but I have not touched on these applications specifically. I know I was trying to focus on screen printing because that was kind of like my main thing to finish out 2023 was learning. So I kind of was doing that process. And now I kind of see like, okay, there's other options. So I don't want you guys to just come to my page and think screen printing. Um, so yeah so the first one i'm going to choose to do is actually since i have it on i'm going to do vinyl first um and break that down to you so in the next clip you'll see me break it down hgv and all the things okay let it focus on me yeah i know i'm kind of light you ain't gotta do it like that all right oh do my lips crusty if my lips is crusty please don't do too much it's changing seasons or whatever and all that I know um but content genuine this is me so nonetheless hgv hgv vinyl is something that you use a cutter for i can put a picture of a cutter as well as my cutter is over here so my goodness that that thing right there is my cutter all right so so you need a cutter to do anything with HTV because HTV is, um, you gotta cut it. Like this was cut by my machine. So the R, the E, the B, all this. I had to weed the excess off. So it comes out 
on the sheet you wrote you put it in the cricket then it cuts it whatever you have to take all the excess to re reveal just this image and then press it which i will show you guys an example and walk you guys through one because i have to do some stuff for content purposes as well as just having stuff for I so I can wear I'm not sure if I want to wear anything for this for the trip but I'm bringing you guys this content so I will definitely step by step you visualize it and not me just talk about it um then you'll need a heat press which that thing is on you could guess what it is I'm not going to zoom into it use your imagination um but that is what you press down once you put it on a shirt heat attach that's how it's bonded together Pretty simple. Um, pros and cons, to be honest, it's less expensive. Um, so that's a pro. You could buy different shops, have different sales. So you just got to find what works for your pocket. There's different things that I go to. I go to Aviva Warehouse. It's in Orlando. I used to go to Joanne's and Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Everybody pretty much sells it. Even Dollar Tree sells it. I'm not sure about that quality, though. So if you go to Dollar Tree and look at this, you're like, oh, well, you said Dollar Tree. Yes, they do have it. I just don't know the quality. And at this point, I have a whole business, so that quality is not going to be good enough for me. But if it's something that just you want to DIY, and be like, oh, I just want to sell a shirt for this day. I don't want to go and just spend all my money. That is very much so option for you. Um, different vinyls have different press settings. So if I tell you, oh, um, this was pressed at 310, I pressed at my 310. Like, that's my machine. Everybody's machine kind of is different because my middle is not as I, not. My edges is not as hot as my middle, if that makes sense. Um, as well as I have this for almost two years now, so that could also be wear and tear of my machine. So I would just be mindful when somebody says 310. Maybe sometimes you have to go to 315 because your machine may be wear and tear. You might have bought it um, off of Macari or a different like marketplace, and you don't know exactly your heat. To be quite honest, like I've seen like stuff people say like 310. And I do 315, and it's way better because I'm going to do three things to make sure it pass through. So another thing is once you do do the press WAP, there is a chance that some of these might not fully like bind to the shirt. So once you peel up and you see that, press, put it back down. Don't try to still pull it off because that can mess it up. So just press it again. That's my suggestion if you're on this journey for HGV. I'm trying to figure out if this is the application you use, right? So, yeah, I kind of went jumped around different things, but I'll focus on the first part, which is basically cutting for now. Like, so I could cut this up and so I could put keywords. So, go off, so for cutting, once you design something, you will have a silhouette. I have a Cricut. All those softwares are different. So once you cut it, send it through your software, your machine has cut it. You will have to then weed it. So that's the next step after you um, cut it, you have to weed it. So once you weed it, when mind you, the more intricate the design, the more you have to weed. That's just it. If it was just this, it would be way easier than this. I had to pick out each and every triangle that's in here. Yeah, so you have to be mindful of what you're getting yourself into as well because weeding is time consuming. Like I can input different videos of me weeding now. But it's also like kind of I listen to music while I weed to like make it more like feasible or like more mind soothing or whatever. But it's cheaper, so you have you put in more time for the cheaper option. So that's that. After you do that, you could just then not relax, but that's kind of like your hardest, more time consuming thing. You take a shirt. You I pre press my shirts and then I put the sheet down. I put it down. Then yeah yeah yeah. Like I said before, make sure that if a letter is coming up when you pull that sheet up, put it back down, press it again. Do not put keep the team pulling off because then that's gonna take off. Let's say this R would have been that way. That R would have been gone, and it would only said eborn. So you don't want <laughs> those mistakes. So that's that for 
that whole process is kind of like I just walk you through like the process of using HGV. So taking HGV, it's also different types of HGV, right? All right now I have this. This is Flock Vinyl. Yeah. Um. So that's a different type of vinyl. So it's kind of more thicker. It. I could walk you guys through that. I might just make a whole video of walking you through that. Um. Just so you can see the different type. Because that's different press settings, that's a different, like, you also change on that heat press, and different heat press is like the pressure. So that also needs a different pressure, as well as little minute things that you have to change for every different vinyl. So I can list all the vinyls out if you want to just look them up and don't want to have separate videos for those. It's going to be flock vinyl, foam vinyl, puff vinyl, regular HGV, they have pattern HGV, they have, um... Inkjet sublimation, which I didn't touch on, but I think I did. But if I didn't, this is basically sublimation ink going here. I, I touched on it. I remember touching on it. But sublimation ink going here. Yeah, yeah. So technically, that is still vinyl. Um. So there's different all oh, arrays of different kind of vinyls. I could just put a list here. Boop. Um. But yeah, all of them have different settings that you will just have to kind of tether to cut settings on your cutter is going to be different as well for different types of vinyls so i would just say be prepared for when you take on the vinyl journey it starts off with just hgv but i've put my feet in almost every type of vinyl at this point um my favorite right now is flock or foam um i just like the texture and i also have felt it's like this felt i'm not even sure if it's called felt i'll put whatever word it actually is but i think it's felt it's like a suede um type of ordeal i love that one so it's it's different like things i haven't tried the brick one there's a brick one um as well as there's one more that i'm blanking on but nonetheless you get it it's different forms of vinyl so pros and cons i told you that one's cheaper cons they washing you just don't know i've had shirts that i've washed from man say two three years ago still trucking I have shirts that I've washed in a year, it's peeling off. Oh, and they also have glitter, glitter, glitter HGV. I know I was blanking on something else, but it just came in my head. Um, so, washing instructions. What I tell people when I sell them anything with vinyl, wash inside out, cold water only, and if you can, do not dry it. If you do dry it, put it on low heat and let the tumble dry inside out. Nine times out of ten, most people do not follow the instructions, and that is why their vinyl peels more quicker. Have I done all this for all of my shirts? No. That's how I've noticed that if you wash it correctly, it has more longevity. So as a, if you're looking at this as an eye of a print shop, like custom kind of thing, be mindful. If you sell people that, give them care instructions. They will complain to you if they don't follow the care instructions, and all you could do is I gave you all the tools. You bought at your own risk, right? So that's that. And even people in stores that like Walmart and stores that use vinyls for some of their stuff, it peels as well. But since they got it from Walmart or whatever, it's not going to be that big of a deal. When you're small business owned, when you are locally business owned, like you have a whole another balance you have to do. And that could be a whole another video. So I'm just giving you that warning. If you're in that realm, that's my advice for you for this video. Um. So yeah. Um, washing instruction is very important for that if you want the shirt to last. Now, if you don't really care about the shirt to last, just throw it in there. Whatever happens, happens. I've done that to many shirts because I've just needed it for mock-ups or whatever. It's testing out different vinyls, X, Y, and Z. So, that's totally up to you. Um, so, yeah. Hold on, let me check on if I hit everything for this section. yeah so next video that i do would be examples resources as well as me actually doing one so um make sure you guys like comment subscribe this video if you have any questions drop them down below i will touch more on them this is kind of just like a big like kind of basic video like i didn't want to go too in depth as well as i didn't want to go too surface so if you do have any questions or you want to know anything else comment below if i could just respond to it i will and i think it's a good question and a lot of people might have that i might make a whole video about it or short 
or I might make a post about it on my Instagram. So all of these might be a possibility. So make sure you go follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, as well as hit that like, comment, and share button. Like it. If you like these hard truths, let me know. Um, it's just a little series that I, I kind of thought of when I said I'm going to start YouTube. So we're just going to keep it going. Um, so if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down below. All right, King and Queen, I hope you're having a great day whenever you watch this. And whenever I post this, I hope you're having a great week. Remember, it's always a good day to have a good day. So do not let, even if you watch this at night, you can still have a chance to have a good day. Or wake up with a good day on your mind. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace and love.